Hi friends, nice to meet you. We're back with another new game and I love to show you uh, this one. Let's see, last time I opened it. Oh no, the cutscenes, the intro. Okay, we can watch it again. I restarted the game because last time I opened it, we got a cutscene, but now I didn't see it and I like skipped it to like restart and video. Okay, let's, let's, let's try this again. Let's watch it right now together. There are as many worlds as there are stars in the sky. I would love to in believe each, that. There is a Camelot. In each, there is a Grail. I but like that. I am only one man. The Cataclysm is old, older than any of us. It has no mind, but its hunger is infinite, and its abominations have been gnawing at the veil since the beginning of time. Some of my kind would say it cannot be stopped until it has consumed the last sun of the last world. I don't want it to consume but us. I have hope. I have hope too, that mister. Is my burden. But it's not my burden, it's not the burden, it's happiness. I gathered my powers. Mm -hmm. I reached out across infinity and created the one you call King Arthur. Mm -hmm. A champion to defend each world. Sounds good. At great cost, I devised an instrument that could heal the wounds in reality. Okay. To you, it is known as the Grail. Mm -hmm. But Morgana lost faith in our cause. Oh. She tricked me, trapped me. And while I slept, we the have years to free passed. him. The world's changed. And Arthur, Arthur failed. Oh. And world after world, lesser men took his place. Men unprepared for the coming of the cataclysm. Mm -hmm. Now I am awake, but I am diminished. My powers are fled, my memories shattered. I can only reach out to you in dreams and whisper, go to Camelot, retrieve the grail, take it to Jerusalem. Believe in me and your world may be saved. Guys, we have to get the grill and I help this guy. I have seen the beginning and I have seen the end. Mm. But I will not yield. We will not yield, guys. We will not My yield. Name is Merlin. Yes, of course you're Merlin. That's, that was... Uh, that it was obviously... But I mean, whoa, it was Merlin. Oh my god. Okay, well, let's go. A uh, story. Here's a narrative experience. Heroes have more health and armor. I want to do the story. Is that easier than easy? Ah, fuck it. We're gonna do story. I just wanna do a first look and figure out this game. It's uh, normally I would always go for easy, uh, for normal, but let's go. Uh, selects war brands, warrior, ranger, or mystic. I want to be a ranger. I can only reach a handful of heroes now. I will need to ex. Okay. Yeah, let's take Mer Mer Merwin. I am pronouncing that wrong, probably. granddaughter of King Karadok. She's young and aloof and cares little about breaking the law, but in her heart she wants to do good in her own way. Okay, sounds good. Where do I, what do I have to click to choose her? I can start. I can start with this guy either. Oh, okay. Randomize these things. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, so Meryl one is her first whatever. Okay, let's just start. I have no idea what kind of game I just got. <laughs> let's let's find out. Okay. I hope there's a tutorial. For many nights now, the spirit of Merlin has haunted your dreams. It speaks to you of darkness from beyond this world. A darkness that will tear apart everything you know and love. That is why Merlin has reached out his hand and gather those who are ready to stand against the cataclysm. 
This is your task, Merlin's voice whispers. You must see Camelot where the grill awaits. Take it, then make your way across Alibion to Corbenic. Brave the dangers of the Marcas Panica. Journey through Al Andalus and cross the White Sea until you reach Jerusalem. There your roles will be saved or ended. Accept the quest. After many days of travel, you have arrived at Camelot. Bring your lives to heart of Albion. Albion. King Arthur's dream made manifest. Here you will find the grill and begin your quest. Okay, let's enter it. You're a level up. Okay. Camelot is not... Shall we click on this first? Let's uh, level up our... Uh, ranger. Uh, max armor, max health. Let's do max health for now. Okay. Move to target location on arrival. Gain three stacks of evading. Does not prompt. Apply two stacks of rooted to an enemy. Oh, that's nice because she's a uh, ranged. More damage. Okay, let's let's just root them. Okay, perfect. How do we go back to the story? Oh, I could have read this. Ranking up allows you to pick a new skill by selecting... Yeah, I did that. Skills are picked from random pool. Uh-huh. Each character also gains some health. Yeah, perfect. I, I got it. I got it. Okay, where's story? Camelot is not what it once was. King Dagonut, who once was King Arthur's jester, has transformed Camelot into a mockery of its former self. A place of unchecked avarice and gluttony where ordinary people go unheard. King Dagonet nearly insensates with drink John's yawns as you explain the nature of your quest. He holds the grill in his hand, swiveling the last remains of his wine. When you are done, he tosses the sacred relic at your feet. Here, have the damn thing. I have much better cups, and all the stories about its magical powers are silly lies. Did you know they say it changes based on the intent of its owner? What nonsense! Tell me, champion of Merlin, what is the great virtue of value? Valor of honor. Uh, I think honor, but let's read. Beer is granted one stack of bearer of honor. Um, minus 40% damage dealt to units that then affect or expires. Losing all stacks. Wait, compel duel. Duel an extra two points. Uh, the bearer of honor attacks apply one stack of compel duel. I mean, I would always go for honor, so let's go. The grill changes before your eyes. The Degana does not seem to perceive the difference. See? Ori old nonsense. Now go. I'm tired of your ceaseless prattling. And uh, if you succeed, tell them it was I who sent you. But if you fail, well, I shan't be coming to your aid. I have a great feast to prepare after all. The people wish to celebrate King Dagonet the first, and who am I to oppose them? He dismisses you with a wave of his hand. Leave the throne room. As the door of the throne room closes behind you, a young lady of the court pulls you aside. The king is a fool, she whispers. He does not see the troubles they are coming our way. Rumors of strange beasts, of unearthly signs and unknown horrors at Corbenic. If Camelot does not act, who will? Instead, we spend our days in sloth and gluttony. Come with me. I may be able to help you. Follow her or begin your journey. Let's follow her. Keeping an eye out for Dragonet's men, the lady leads you to her rooms. There, on a sheet of finest silk, lie two artifacts of power. One is a relic, such as may be carried by a knight into combat. The other appears to be no more than a trinket, but in truth contains a fragment of Merlin's power. I cannot give you both, she says, but if only one is found to be missing, I shall blame Dragonet's dog. He loves the beast more than any of his subjects and will not punish it. Thank her and take the relic. Restore four health points to an ally in melee range. Or thank her and take the trinket. Plus two of this. Mana. <sighs> yeah, let's take this. I will return the other to it. Uh, I will return the other to its proper place, the lady says. Good luck. I fear you will need it. Begin your journey. Okay, so we have the journal over here. And 
new skills we already read. Welcome to the Hand of Merlin. These hints will help you understand the game. To see a specific hint again, select the question mark button over there. For starters, open your journal journal to view your warbands. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. Uh, so I guess we're here in the city of Camelot and now we have to go over here. Your journey takes you past the graveyard. In the thick fog, its melancholy is doubled. But somehow you're drawn to it nonetheless. It is impossible not to contemplate that on a quest such as yours. Most of the graves are old, but one is freshly dug and open. You do not see a gravekeeper. Inspect them. Inspect the open grave. Search for the gravekeeper. Carry on. Let's inspect the open graves. Something is amiss here. You had assumed the open grave was waiting for your body to be laid to rest. But there is a coven inside. It's lit half broken. You must have interrupted the band of grave robbers. Prepare for combat. Oh god, I love this game. I like these games. But damn, they... they oh, are we... Um... Oh, it's all automatic. Okay, let's see. Oof. Took an arrow in the knee. Wait, why aren't they doing anything? Should I? Oh, there we go. Now it's her turn. Welcome to your first skirmish. Move the camera. Mm -hmm. Select a click on a portrait or press tab to cycle. Then click on any tile to move. Okay. Um, can she reach him? I guess we have to uh wait how many times can we move oh like this we shoot okay ah and he can walk slash or bash that's slash oh that's only okay so we can move once and then also attack right yeah And then tap next. Um, this guy can deal damage to an enemy or restore armor. Well, they do look like they're very uh, healing still. So let's uh, do some damage. Okay. And then he can also still walk. Let's walk one away. Okay, now it's their turn, I suppose. Right? How do we end, uh, end turn? Oh, here. Enemy turn. Oh, I like this! It's been a long time since i played a game like this. Okay, they're shooting at her. He's running away. And then shoots. Makes sense. Uh, I do have to see. Red is health, I guess. Blue is armor, maybe. We're definitely stronger than they are. Okay, this one should be dead by now. Oh, he had a reaction shot. Okay. This one should walk here. And then slash this guy. This one should be almost dead now as well. Okay, and then Merlin. Uh, well, not Merlin. Sorry, Morgan. Uh, we can kill our first guy. Whoop, whoop. And then walk here as well. Where we're defended between rocks. End of turn. He shoots her. We have plenty of armor left. And he prepares poison. Okay. He's bleeding. And he shoots us. A mist! Nice. Um, oh yeah, that's ensnare. Anchors ready. A reaction taking a shot against any enemy that moves within your line of sights next turn no 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 we're gonna shoot him because he's gonna get his poison ready oh yeah first armor then health and let's uh, move away a little bit uh, this guy should go back towards this one hoppa dead and then you again Get him. Okay. End of turn. Don't end turn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can end turn. We 
because he's standing fine. Minus four armor. We're so much stronger than the grave robbers. Oh god. Oh, we can't reach him yet? a bit not that she really needs it because we're like victorious oh we picked story mode we picked story mode this is like of course we're invincible because they want us to just be able to do the story oh now i wish i kind of picked normal because then we had a challenge okay i'm not meant to play games on story mode because I like that you don't win like this. But okay, it's nice that we have the story and I can tell you guys the story. So let's continue. Your enemies lie dead and you are ready to continue your journey. You glance back one final time knowing that you too will one day fall and be buried. You can only hope it will be not in vain. Okay, so now we can take two paths. Wow, this looks intense. Okay, where is Jerusalem? Uh, I guess everything leads to... City of Corbinic. Wait, was that where we were going? I guess. So we can go... Well, here's a question mark. Let's go there. In a small village near the ruins of a castle built by the exiled son of King Tolomar, in the days of Joseph and of Arimathea, you are stopped by an old woman who seems to know who you are. I am called... Ah! I clicked on it! What did she say? <laughs> if you're bringing the grill to Jerusalem, then you may pass by our allies in the Marca Hispanica. They will not admit openly to being servants of Merlin, for there are so many who would regard them as heathens. But if you speak these words, they will know you. Who to the red dragon? She hesitates. It would be very grateful if you visited Master Emrys. He gave much for Merlin. I agree. Thank you, Ganeda says, looking up at the sky. So much depends on you now. I will offer what little I have to struggle. You know how much else I have already given. No, I didn't because I didn't read it. Okay, but we have to visit the... Uh... As you follow an old wooded road, you come across a broken down card. It appears to be loaded with supplies, but one of its wheels is missing. Investigate. As you near the cart, you notice a man leaning against a nearby tree. He is uninjured, but clearly has reached the end of his strength. Please, he says. Can you help me? I was set upon by bandits, he says. Or perhaps madmen. They waylaid me, threatened me with sharpened sticks. They left all my supplies, took not a single coin, but absconded with my wheel. Tell me, what lunacy is this? What proof it is? Confusion has our mad king sowed in this land. Offer to track down the thieves. The thieves have left a clear path in the mud and are easy to track. You find them camped out in a thicket less than two furlongs, furlongs away. One of them, his face hidden by a thick beard and wild hair, is grandly striding around a fire. The wheel between the legs, the others are applauding speak to them you cautiously approach the bandit camp such as it is the wheel bearing bandit holds up a rough ill-made spear halt stranger why do you approach your camp what purpose brings you here ask them who they are we are the resistance the bandit with the wheel between his legs says proudly once we were jesters like so-called king dagonet himself when the order of the land failed, when the rightful heir was denied the throne and his foul fool seized power, we brave souls swore, swore we would fight him to the last. And this we are doing. Today, we but, uh, today was but one of our great battles. We have marched into towns with bells on our noses and painted horses in many colors. We've even written Dragonet's name on Pixty. And once we sang an outrageous song about his troops, though it was to ourselves. It is not good to speak ill of the king's men in public, as they stand between us and the Saracen hordes. 
demand to mail mail back. You demand they return the wheel at once. The bandit leader is outraged. You dare make demands of the resistance? We are here to fight. We know our blood will not be the first to be spilled in the struggle to return the rightful heir to their throne. Of course, we do not wish to overly impair trade in our beloved Albion. Emergents are not the enemy of jesters. Keep listening. No, it's a matter of principle. We will live and die for our beliefs. Thus, we may only return the wheel to you with the sternest of objection. Here, take it. But know that we will be vigilant. Okay. So well, we return the wheel and help the merchant really attach it to his cart. Though you find it impossible to explain why the bandits took it from him, nevertheless, he is overjoyed. I understand that this was not a quest worthy of great knights, but I am grateful you undertook it nonetheless. And you deserve recompense. Tell me, would you prefer payment in coin or supplies? Let's take some food. Because we don't have much food. The merchants insist on shaking your hand before leaving. You ponder the importance of small acts, particularly in these times. Let's continue our journey. I love this game, it's nice. This one is corrupted. A higher chance of combat. Let's go. Passing through a small wood, you're stopped by an alarmed dwarf who screams for you to turn back and run. Save yourself, he cries. Run as fast as your legs will carry you or you will perish. Try to calm the dark. I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> okay. Shuffle. Success. Okay. Pardon me for losing my composure, friends, the dwarf says, taking a deep breath. But the things I saw, they were things that I would not to exist, whose very existence is blasphemy. I cannot find better words than these, though they are inadequate. He goes on to describe how his party was ambushed by abominations and slaughtered, begging you once again to turn back. When he sees that you will not, he does his best to recall the precise details of the hilltop where the abomination await you, thank him and proceed. The dwarf spoke through, the clan here is dying, affected by the cataclysm, and otherworldly abominations are on the prowl. Thanks to his sharp memory, you are able to avoid being noticed by the enemy as you prepare for combat. Ooh, fights! I mean, again, it's story mode, there's not really much of a... where are they? Here, okay. And here okay let's uh start our fights here we remain to be unseen all of this here we're not seen, right? Revealed. Oh, we we are seen. Ah, we stand here. Okay. Well, now that we've been seen, it doesn't matter. Not enough action points. Oh. Hey guys, let me know in the comments if you like these kind of games because perhaps we should give it a try uh, without story mode so we don't we actually have a challenge as well. Or let me know if this is what you like, the fact that we cannot die. And we'll most certainly win. Oh, we cannot also attack? I shouldn't have done that. Can we reach him? No. I love that they like 
their movement is really weird. Vulnerable, okay. You rooted it, nice. Oh, this is minus two. That was stupid. Uh, and then we have this guy. Using their armor. And can he mend? No. He doesn't. So they make the whole floor gross. Dang. That one is done. Uh, but we should walk around it now. Now he can heal us. Oh, he can't. Because he needs uh, another turn. Perfect. He doesn't have to walk. Okay. This one's almost dead. Let's keep it trapped there. This one's dead. Nice! And now just this one. Oh, again, we couldn't lose technically, but still, we did win. Uh, bookmark update, what's that? Ah, the ending is the wyvern. Outrageously disregarding all natural laws. This hellish creature levitates above the ground. Its revolting appendages hanging hideously below. By this unseemly power of flight, it closes in rapidly on its poor victims who cannot be saved even by the sturdiest armor and the red cap. What mad god was deranged? I don't know how to say this. Demon could dream up such a creature. This ghastly ocular horror dragging its absurd body across the grounds and soiling the land with its melange and mucus. It's truly the most laughable parody of life imaginable, but do not underestimate its power. Its long limbs will strike out at you and will when its evil gaze turns upon you, the beast will know you even more. Mm. Arcane knot? Regular knot. Normal chance of more difficult combat. I mean, maybe we shouldn't have played this on story mode, um, because then every fight we will win. Where are we going? Was this where we uh, had to go? I don't remember. How do we see where we had to go with the, with the quest from the lady? There's no quest marks, right? Okay. I uh, probably wrote it in my journal, maybe? No? We can level him up with the skill. Restore Renting plus power. Yes. Ooh. Heal six. Power. In a cone. That sounds interesting. But that's nice. Okay, I don't know where we can find our quest. Okay, let's just go to the weird arcane knob. As you pass by a small grove, you notice mushrooms growing in a fairy ring. You feel a cold breeze as it, if from a cave or canyon, though the trees are not stirring. You hear the sound of waterfall, though you do not see a river. The closer you come, the more your eyes grow heavy. A bell seems to ring somewhere far off. Pass them down the road. 
You decide to move on, but suddenly the ground shakes and the air itself seems to bend, twisting your vision. When your eyes recover, an old man is standing before you. His bright blue eyes seem to glow with power, and his robe is the color of the sky as long dead worlds. Marilyn, he bellows. You're alive. How remarkable. Did Morgana let you out of her trap? The sound of his voice is overwhelming, driving tears of agony to your eyes. I escaped. When Marilyn speaks through you, your ears begin to bleed. You fall to the ground. You did, the figure says. Impressive. You were always a very stubborn creature. I would enjoy studying you. Why did you not aid me or what has happened? What has happened? The figure shrugs. I haven't seen her in a few centuries. Relatively speaking, I stay away from her. She grew too bitter for my taste after all her echelons died. You cannot run forever. I cannot, he laughs, and you clasp your hands over your ears in desperation. I've been running a thousand times a thousand years, and let's not forget I helped you. Without my studies, what would we know of the cataclysm? Nothing. I'm too weak to fight alone. You help me? You don't remember? You must be more broken than I thought. No wonder. You wielded so much power and to have all that shattered well. It would have broken me, for sure, but for the sake of her friendship, such as it is, let me help you recover some of your strength. Here, let your pawns take this essence. He reaches out his... Ah! I clicked on something. Wait. Okay. I feel Merlin grows stronger. Thank you. You're welcome, old friend. The sorcerer. It's beginning to fade now. I'm sure we'll meet again. Watch out for Morgana. She hates you like one. Uh, only someone who has loved you can hate you. Uh, your ears are ringing. Your hands are shaking. Essence available. You unlocked your first essence. You can now unlock additional spells in the core. Okay. It's here. Prophecy spell. Spends an essence. Now wait. Uh, translocation. Teleport. Ooh. Grant seven stacks of uh, fading. Or restore health. I love this game. This is really nice. I should have gone for transport. I don't know why you picked the other one. Lol. Okay. And let's continue. A cart is coming your way on the road. The driver, young man in a white apron and hat, motions for you to come closer. Do you hail from Camelot? I'm in urgent need of your help. His reedy voice is tinged with fear. Please, I have coin to pay. Can we leave once? No, ask him what he wants. Oh, thank you, thank you. The youth wipes his forehead with a piece of white linen. My, master's bla my master bade me to deliver scones. To King Dagonet's next feast. A simple task, no? But I heard the last apprentice was put to the rack for delivering stale tea cakes. And the master has been experimenting with dough. Oh, I'm very frightened, my lord. Will you not try the scone? Ask for a better pay? No, let's help him. The baker's apprentice hands you the scones with shaking hands. He looks like he is about to faint. The scones are more like stones than scones. They would make excellent projectile weapons, or perhaps whetstones, but it would be a folly to try- Yes, give him the honest opinion, we're not gonna lie. Really? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, what am I to do? They'll put me to the rex for sure! He describes his shoulders. The words may sound hollow now, but I still thank you. You might have saved my life today, even if I have to abandon all I've known for far so far. I suppose I better throw these scones away. It's not like anyone would want him. So think I almost served him to the king. What are you gonna do now? Oh, I really don't quite know. Um, signs the former baker's apprentice. I suppose I could join a monastery. They bake bread, do they not? The life of the cloth. It's not what I wanted, but I suppose it's very unlikely that I ever find a maiden to marry me now. Wish him luck and leave. I love this story. It's so random. Also, we saved someone's life. And on that note, I think it's a really good one to end this um, episode of Thief Trace, a new game for the first time. Uh, let me know what you thought of it and if you want me to play this again. And 
if you want me to play this again, not on story mode, but with actual fights, where we put more focus on fighting, or if you like that I focus on story mode only, and it's just like reading, exploring, and all of that. Please let me know in the comments, and uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye! <laughs>